Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. So, you found the Panther folder, did you? Let's take a look. In most cases, not all, most cases it's going to be in C colon backslash Windows. And what is in there is upgrade files, so Windows 10 upgrades, updates, etc. And those are temporary files related to that. Most of them are small. Their XML, their INI files. Let's take a quick look. As you can see over here, let me move this so you can see the size. This is all small stuff. And as you can see by right clicking on the folder and click on properties, you can see that it's not taking up a lot of space. Most people looking to delete these folders are looking to clean up space. If that's what you're looking for, this is probably not the place to start. A little bit more on that in just a minute. Let's talk about some of the different places you can find it, etc. These folders right here will be hidden. So the only way you're going to see those, whereas the Windows Panther folder is not hidden, is to click on View, Options, View tab, and check Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. That's the only way you're going to see these other locations. But everybody can see it if it is in C colon backslash windows. All right, don't delete it, leave it alone. It's not gonna save, save you any hassles, but what you can do, you could follow this link here, look for the tutorial link up here, or in the video description to check out our information on who has the better drive cleaner, complete with another YouTube video and links to download. This is my choice currently. This is pretty good too. I think this is an order. Most conservative, much more cleaning, much, much more cleaning, depending on what you want to do and how comfortable you are. Sea cleaner is always a safe bet just for conservative cleanup. You can also use storage space. You don't need to download anything. And if those folders were able to be removed, storage space would do that for you. So Windows key plus S, storage, storage settings. And you can turn it on to do it automatically. You can wait, show more categories once it finds everything. And you can see all the space that it can clean up. Temporary files, system and reserve files. There's a lot of space right there. There's a lot of space you can find just by doing that if that's what you're looking to do. So go ahead and just turn it on if it's not on and let it do its thing to keep junk off your computer in the background without worrying about it. Not the best choice out there, but still. All right, so there you go. No big deal. Finally, at the bottom, if you're still looking around and you found a Panther folder, you might have found WinSys folder, that BT folder, Sys Reset folder, Get Current. All these folders are very similar to what we're discussing now. If you delete them, for the most part, Windows is just going to download the stuff again and put the folders right back. So a lot of times, there's not a lot you can do with these upgrade folders. You're really better off looking for somewhere else to clean up hard drive space, like deleting unwanted files, folders, applications you don't use anymore, etc. So there you have it, Panther folder explained. Bottom right corner, click subscribe. Thanks for watching as always, see ya.